Hello YouTube land, this is Semi Domesticated Owl and I'm coming to you from my kitchen today. Um, I've been working on my kitchen cabinets and my kitchen drawers and um, I've been slowly getting them reorganized. And last week I reorganized under my kitchen sink. What I used to do was keep a lot of stuff in a kitchen drawer and then I had a blue cleaning caddy that I kept under the kitchen sink for all my cleaning supplies. And I thought I could utilize the space a little more by having stuff in all in one area and I could free up a kitchen drawer that I could use for something else. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I okay, did. Okay, here this is. As you see, we have a water filtration system underneath our sink. There's the tank, the wires, and the filter. And I think I did a great job working around that. So if you have something like this under your kitchen sink, don't let it deter you from storing stuff underneath there. Okay, so what I did first was hang this little command hook for um, our little dustpan and our little broom that we used to sweep out under here and we used to sweep the, off the cabinets sometimes. The next thing is these little stackable bins. I got these from Walmart. I got a lot of them for our pantry and I had some left over, so I already had these. And um, on the bottom here is the garbage bags, and as you see, they just roll out like that. And then on the top, I have our kitchen cleaning towels. As you see, these are rolled up, and I think they just look nicer that way. I roll up all most of all the towels in the house, including our bathroom towels, and I just like how the way they look, and it seems to be easier to get to them. As you see, I have some little baskets and I had these so I didn't have to go shopping for them. And um, the first one over here holds our everyday cleaners like our Windex, our counter cleaner, and our Lysol wipes. And the one back here, you can move this forward, I just pushed it back, holds stuff we don't usually grab uh, like extra sponges and I have some extra dish soap, um, some stuff for our dishwasher, the common I used to clean our sink, this soft scrub I used to clean our stove top, an extra toothbrush, and an extra magic eraser. And this just slides right back here, no problem. And as you see, I always have some extra room to add an extra basket, but I didn't really need that, so. And I think this is the best part. I got this um, from Do It On A Dime. I would link her video below, and it's just a what she did was put a shower caddy with command strips to hold all our little ins and outs for her her sink. I couldn't find the right shower caddy, but this was there and it's from the brand command with the strips and everything. So I bought this instead and it worked out just fine. And um, I just keep my dishwashing tabs, the current magic eraser I'm using, some extra sponges, and our dish pluggers. Is that what you call them? <laughs> so, and I have a few other things I would like to show you that are on top. And I just close this up. This is another thing I wanted to show you. And my husband did this when we first moved in. I didn't have anything in them at first. But um, I have been storing my brushes that I used to do the dishes. These are the actual ones I use for the dishes. And this is the one I use for veggies only. If you see, I labeled it. But basically, they're little holder things. We got them at Home Depot. Um, they fit on your false drawer fronts in front of your sink, and um, the kit comes with these things that, um, like right here, the brackets that you could close and open with. I'm not sure what they're called. If you know, you can leave it in the comments below. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is this. Our little dish rack. Now when we first moved in we used to pile dishes on on top of each other on this side and this side and I got tired because that would be a lot of work at the end of the day. So what I did so we wouldn't pile dishes on this side at least I put the dish rack in the sink and it's the perfect size and um, we only need to move it if we need to fill up something big with our filtration system but it's really easy to move in and out as you can see, no biggie, and it 
deters us from filling up both sides of the sink. Now we just fill up this one and it's much easier to do one side of, side of the sink's worth of dishes than the other one. And we're, we've been really good at get, putting, doing the dishes anyway, so this one's never filled up. Okay, the last thing I wanna show you is this. It is something I bought from Walmart a few weeks ago. It was $7 and it is the just soap pump bottle with um, room to put your sponges. And these are the ones we use every day. So I like how they have this little spot on top and it's not cluttering up our sink. And they just go in the corner. And let me give you one final view of all the stuff I did. Three. Okay, and that is it for today. If you like this type of video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any requests, go ahead and leave a comment, and I hope you subscribe. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.